Welcome, indeed, to another edition of Joker's Wild, our weekly battle of wits between two teams of comedians who battle for this, our Joker's Wild trophy. Let's get right down to business and introduce the two teams on this occasion. First, our resident captain, the one, the only, Ted Ray. <laughs> Thank you. With Ray Martin Good and evening. Sid James. <laughs> Making a spectacle of himself as ever, and the opposing, <laughs> the opposing team, captained by our very own Les Dawson, with Jack Douglas and Clive Dunn. <laughs> the rules are very simple. Each one of our comedians will be asked to tell a joke on a subject written on a card I take from these boxes, ladies and gentlemen. If a member of the opposing team thinks he knows the joke, he can interrupt. Both mm. the teller and the interrupter can score points on our scoreboard here. Let's play the game and you'll see how it goes as we start with our very own Ted Ray. Yeah. Ted, I press the button, yes. the card says, aeroplane. Jack, I will give that four points. Ooh. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> um, yes, um, yes. Uh, five points. <laughs> um, uh, s s s seven points for Jack. Oh, very <laughs> funny. <laughs> Oh, he kills me. Um, <laughs> where did you smuggle that in? He's got seven through sheer violence. Too much violence on television. Seven points to Jack. <laughs> Great story, Jack. Lovely. The next one's ten. And now we go... What? <laughs> we go to Sid James. Sid James, he didn't your story, him. shoplifting. <laughs> shoplifting? Yeah, all right. So, um, my wife and I went shopping. Oh, Interrupt my mind. Let's toss it. Who is it, Clive? <laughs> oh, yeah, go on. So, I were in the shop that the, the store detective caught a shoplifter. And he went up before the judge, right? And he said to the judge, As God is my judge, I am not a shoplifter. The judge said, I am, he's not, you are. <laughs> <laughs> two, no. two points. Win, <laughs> win. Well, you. Well, now. <laughs> That was in a sale, marked down to two yeah. points. Back to Sid. Was that your story? Yes, Sid? it was. No, well, it was, but it isn't now. No, no. <laughs> Cancel that one. No, no this, this is my story. That um, the United Nations decided that finally. <laughs> now, shut up. Listen. Now, listen. They decided that uh, they finally had to select from one of the nations who was going to be the first astronaut to Mars. So. Out of that came Italy. So Italy was going to be the nation that was going to supply the astronaut to Mars. So the Pope is standing there in the square. Oh, shut up a minute. And there's 35,000 Italian pilots all down there below him. And the Pope stands there and he says, Gentlemen, it is a great honour for Italy and we're going to sort out the astronaut. I will pluck a feather from my hat and cast it into the air. And whoever it falls upon will be the first astronaut to Mars. And he turned his back and said a little prayer and didn't hear anything. So he said another little prayer and he still didn't hear anything. And he turned round and he looked down and there were 35,000 pilots all going Objection! Objection! Well, what do you mean objection? Mr well, Dawson is raising an objection. Sydney, I have to ask you, what's that got to do with shoplifting? <laughs> well, he lifted my bloody stool. <laughs> <laughs> You've got to hand it to Sid. If you don't, he'll take it I'll anyway. Take Five it. points. <laughs> Five points to Sid for that. Well done. Fine burst. And it is, in fact, Clive Dunn with another fine burst of... Ex <coughs> and we go to our quickies, ladies and gentlemen, very quickly indeed. Gentlemen, a quick joke on any subject. Joke is wild, starting with Ted Ray. One word of advice, folks, to the men especially. <coughs> Never go around with a married woman unless you can go three rounds with her husband. <laughs> <laughs> three points to Ted Ray. Thank Ray Martin. You. There was a young lady called Gert from Newcastle who, uh, <laughs> uh, along, along the Westcott Road, and who was, who was stung on the beeb on the neck by, <laughs> by a wasp. When they said to her, Gert, did it hurt? She was a real Geordie. She said, no, it can do it again if it liked. <laughs> Nothing. That's, <laughs> nothing. I am... That is the blankest verse I've ever heard. I'll give three. Three. Sydney James. Oh, uh, yeah. Fellow's got bad, very bad shakes. He goes into the doctor. He says, what can you do for me? The doctor says, do you drink a lot? He says, no, I spill most of it. <laughs> three to Sid. Three to Sid James. That's Dawson. Hurry on, gentlemen. The clock's against you.